Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Simplify's tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to look at Isaac's personality theory. Now we know that different people have different personalities. No personality is exactly the same as the other. And like, and like a lot of others, German psychologist Hans Isaac came up with his personality theory to, to, with a bid to uh, understand the human mind. He believed that human behavior is determined by a series of attributes or traits. Now these traits are present in varying magnitudes in each of us and this is what defines our personality. Now people have different personalities from one another because of the difference in the extent to which each person carries each of these traits. So by isolating, analyzing and studying these traits, we can understand human personality. And through his personality theory, he actually came up with the famous Isaac uh, personality questionnaire EPQ to, to categorize people based on their personalities. Now let's learn a bit more about personality traits. Now Isaac elaborated that people are born with personality traits. Okay, and that these traits are actually a result of our genetics. He also believed that these traits remain coherent across different situations and also remain stable over time. He also proposed that although environmental, social and situational factors can influence these traits, the actual influence of these factors is minimal. And although some external influences can actually amplify the effect of some of these traits, the traits themselves remain more or less stable over time. He believed that external influences matter to about only about 25% of the influence on these traits, whereas the majority 75% of the influence uh, of the traits on personality is, is genetic. So it all comes from where you're born and you, you're actually born with these traits. Okay, now let's understand the concept of personality dimensions. Now, Isaac grouped several traits together to initially form two dimensions called, also called second order personality traits. Now, these initial two dimensions are introversion versus extroversion, which is also called the E dimension, and neuroticism versus stability, which is also called the N dimension. Now, let's look at the difference between extroverts and introverts. Extroverts are sociable, thrill-seeking people who can also uh, get really bored really easily. Uh, they also have the tendency to take risks and are carefree. He also proposed that extroverts have nervous systems which are actually under-aroused. So it means that they actually need more stimulation from the outside world to actually retain their mental balance. And introverts, on the other hand, are quiet and reserved. They tend to be serious, averse to risk, but reliable. They can be better planned and can have more control over their emotions. Now, their nervous systems are over aroused and they therefore don't need that stimul stimulation from external sources. OK, now let's look at the dimension of neuroticism and stability. Now, this dimension is based around stress tolerance which is controlled by the human sympathetic nervous system. Now, stable people have a less reactive nervous system and they therefore remain calm, consistent and level-headed. Neurotic people, on the other hand, are more, are more, have more reactive nervous systems, I uh, beg your pardon, and can therefore be prone to overreacting to stimuli. And neurotic people therefore can get uh, can, can actually worry, get, get more angry easily or fear things more easily than stable people. Okay, and, and what are the implications of these dimensions? Now, Isaac proposed that all of us as human beings fall somewhere on the N dimension and the E dimension. And this in turn will determine what traits we possess and then that defines our personality. Okay, as simple as that. So, as you can see from the uh, from the graphic, if you're between extroversion and neuroticism, you'll be aggressive, excitable, restless, etc. And then there are other traits for another quadrant, outgoing, sociable, carefree, etc. So, depending on where you lie on the N scale and the E scale, you'll be in one of the four quadrants. And then that defines your traits and defines your personality. Okay, he created a questionnaire to measure these uh, E and N uh, values for people and termed it the 
iZinc Personality Inventory, EPI. Okay, now, interestingly, he also collaborated with his wife to, to propose a third dimension, which is also called psychoticism versus normality. And that is the P dimension. Okay, and now this dimension relates to compassion and morality. Okay, now this trait is actually controlled by the level of testosterone contained in a human being. Higher the level of testosterone, the more is the level of psychoticism and low is the level of stability. Okay, and a psychotic person can actually have antisocial traits like selfishness, coldness, hostility and impulsivity and but can also be creative so a psychotic person is sort of like uh, a person who is really high on testosterone and uh, can be antisocial so it's a different kind of a personality it is different to being unstable in Isaac's eyes okay now let's look at all of these three dimensions together now combining all these dimensions he concluded that we actually have a comprehensive model for studying human personality types he called this the PEN model naming it after the dimensions and his questionnaire was actually modified to incorporate the third dimension the initial questionnaire and the final questionnaire was then called the Isaac personality questionnaire or EPQ so by coming up with all these dimensions the three dimensions he he actually concluded that he has actually found the way to actually gauge a person's personality and interestingly enough he believed that the overall influence on a person's personality comes from where he was born and external influences only play a limited role in in redefining someone's personality okay so that was uh, a good little summary for uh, for, for Isaac's uh, personality theory I thank you very much for your attendance and as always, please like this video, subscribe to this channel and keep supporting us for more, uh, more and more content coming up uh, every week, every two weeks. So I'm going to try and increase the frequency as you would have already seen. So there'll be more tutorials coming up on a more regular basis. Thank you very much. Take very good care of yourself. Bye bye.